Update 3 on Hurricane Danny, an 80 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane in the Atlantic with a pressure of 990 millibars. Moving west northwest at 10 miles per hour, position 13.0 degrees north, 45.7 degrees west. The storms are expected to continue in this vein for a while. Uh, for the next two days or so, we expect it will remain a hurricane before gradually weakening into a tropical storm as it approaches the Leeward Islands and then um, possibly tracking over the Greater Antilles, um, whatever's left of Danny by then, uh, where it may well uh, dissipate over those islands. Uh, there is some chance that the storm will move to the north of those islands and may possibly um, remain as it heads towards the Bahamas. But um, let's just uh, think about now. Now, shall we? Uh, the Lesser Antilles uh, will expect to see storm conditions, um, particularly in the northernmost islands, in the next four or five days, possibly slightly sooner than then. Um, but as for the time being, no warnings in effect right now. Sea surface temperatures around the storm looking fairly warm, around 27 degrees Celsius, perhaps 28 in one or two little pockets around the storm, though uh, sea surface temperatures around Danny's have certainly cooled since he formed. Uh, wind shear is high to the north and northwest of the storm and that's probably going to be what really weakens it when it moves towards the west northwest towards the islands and if it's not going to be shear it's going to be dry air or perhaps a combination of both because there is a dry air environment to the north of the storm especially over um, the Lesser Antilles where that high wind shear area is as well so those two may um, conspire against Danny sooner or later. A latest satellite imagery though showing Danny um, looking fairly good a very small storm um, hurricane force winds only extend 10 miles um, from the center of the, the storm you can see its eye popped out a little bit there for a frame or two before appearing to disappear again all those yellow areas to the northwest of the image there um, is dry air so it's not never too far away from the storm and that's probably going to be the case for the rest of its life um, but let's take a look at the HWRF model this is what it said at the last run at 12 Zulu uh, showing a category one hurricane um, for at least two days or thereabouts before weakening and barely being a tropical depression by the looks of things by the time it arrives um, in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico but um, rainfall totals will probably total four inches in some areas or higher but we'll obviously be watching that a little bit later on. Uh, you can track all the storms right now on Force 13's dedicated tracking page force13.com forward slash tracker um, where you can see Goni and Atsani in the Western Pacific, Goni affecting the Philippines, um, Invest 94C and Tropical Depression 3C which has formed um, in the Central Pacific and that one could be a problem for Hawaii in the next few days also. And of course Hurricane Danny and Invest 97L which may well form into Erica in the next week in the Atlantic. 54 tropical storms have formed so far around the world in 2015. 30 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes, or their equivalents, with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. And 20 have gone on to become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. That's just one away from the whole of 2010, all year round, uh, worldwide. 20 already in late August. You can visit Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings-ons around the world storm-wise. Of course, you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Search Force 13 all in text on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat um, on Skype as well. Uh, you can also join the dedicated chat room um, where we're discussing storms and anything else with fellow storm trackers. We're also on air this evening at 11 p.m. UTC, that's 7 o'clock Eastern Time, August the 20th. Look out for the link on the social media pages and on the Force 13 website. But until then, uh, that's all from me for now, and uh, we'll see you there.